Today's theme park is all about peace and serenity in a lush island oasis with the most sensational oriental theming with a twist that I have ever witnessed. This park looks absolutely incredible. The art style is phenomenal and I cannot wait to dive in deeper. So let's do just that. Hey yo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another episode of Park Spotlight Contest Edition. Today we're looking at Eternal Sanctuary, created by SB and Kench, and their team name is Eski. <laughs> welcome to Eternal Sanctuary, Team Eski. Eski presents our 60x60 60 60 Channel 5 mini park. Bask in the serenity of all that lush island oasis has to offer. The island is divided into four sections, the main street up front, the old town on the left, the fishing village on the right, and the preserved ruins of the ancient sanctuary at the back. There are a large number of flat rides throughout the park, three main attractions, ebb and flow, spirit of the sea, and the spirit of the sky. Please do explore every new and cranny to experience the island's true delight and that we will definitely do we have tried to keep this park grounded to reality for all your realism fans out there also incorporated, incorporated some tmtk fonts thank you very much to the respective community creators listed on the workshop page we hope you enjoy and wish you a pleasant stay at the eternal sanctuary and they're saying uh the time is fixed to 11 a.m because it's primarily a daytime park and they ex recommend i explore clockwise if, uh, ride preferences are track view. Okay, let's uh, let's get into this. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're doing fantastic today. Here we are at the Eternal Sanctuary, getting off the boat. This looks absolutely incredible. So we've seen uh, a bunch of Japanese or Oriental themed parks uh, throughout the history of the channel. And we saw one in particular that was uh, in the earlier brackets that just blew my mind. And now I have to say, this is doing something different, something exceptional. Look at this building here. It's Pirate Caribbean mixed in with Temple and uh, Japanese or Oriental. All of the different World's Fair pieces mashed up with Pirate ancient temple stuff it's really quite phenomenal this is how you take kits and planet coaster bash them together and create something unique while staying original to the theme this looks oriental it looks japanese but it looks different than anything we've ever seen before this is an elevated theme and i quite love it there's some screenshots in here of all your different uh, areas of the park. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, they said clockwise, so I'm already getting lost. How do you go clockwise in a park that only goes right? We have to go up and left. This would be clockwise, right? All right, let's do that. Yeah, again, look at this. Just taking all these little wall pieces and making pillars out of it so it has extra detail. All these wooden pieces in here. Uh, there are aspects of this that you will see and I caught a glimpse of or maybe you would have saw in the B-roll. It reminds me of Viking as well. Just because of all the woodwork and how both Vikings and Oriental themes have these peaking rooftops, these peaking corner bits somewhat of a, a similar inspiration in their build designs the long host designs that you see there there are some aspects of crossover between the two cultures which is uh really cool and when you combine them together as you can see here you almost get this like oriental viking theme uh it's very interesting i love it i love how you guys are doing something different taking a theme of planet coaster and elevating it rising it to the next level so uh <laughs> this is really fun all oh, right are these in test mode well i don't think there's any guests in here so we can go ahead and throw it in test Let's sit in the middle seat and see where we pop up oh wow this thing needs a little bit more hang time isn't there an option to set it so it uh, locks? 
it raises up and then drops. Either way, it's a pretty view when you get to the top. I'm just gonna have to pause the video if you want to <laughs> see the whole view. Why don't we go on up there and just manually hang here? There we go. Yeah, great direction for your ride to be facing. And as you mentioned, uh, there's like the different themed areas, the ancient ruins in the back, the fishing village on the right. Uh, not really quite sure what was on the left here, uh, going through uh, the queue. So you've managed to come up with a, a unique theme, taking accent accents, making it have different accents, taking it to the next level, but also found themes within the theme to make each of the areas feel different. And I quite appreciate that. So here we go again. This is Caribbean. Mashed up with uh, all these fun oriental pieces. And you get the hammer swing. See, doesn't this look like something you'd see in a Viking park? Is it... Do you guys agree with me? Isn't it a cool combination? I find it very unique. I've never seen anything like this before. We, uh, one of my favorite creations from, I think it was the last bracket, the expert bracket, was the Valhalla Park. That was definitely one of my favorite, if not the favorite creation from that bracket. And this is actually bringing back some vibes from that. This is looking artistically nuts. Okay, I'm not waiting for this ride. It's a hammer swing. You guys know how it goes. We've ridden a hundred of those at the contest. My apologies. Um, but yeah, it would swing out here. Give us a nice view. Yeah, great compositions too. I love how all the uh, the rolling hills look with the, the rock work. Ebzy, <laughs> famous for his amazing rock work. I featured uh, a number of his parks and coasters and always delivering the best soft pretzels and soda. The best rock work. Did I miss a queue? We go through the building. Huh. Guests are not supposed to go down these. So I guess we just keep going. Nice. Very unique. Everything about this park is unique. And the reshade looks amazing on it. Because you got so many small, intricate details. The shadows really pop here. It's looking great. Loose articles. This has got the realism shelves. Like they said in the beginning, they are catering to realism fans for this one. And uh, there's the stats if you'd like to see them. If you want to judge the G-forces. And uh, what did they say for this? Uh, what was this coaster called? The Spirit of the Sky. They would like us to ride this in track view. And that's what we'll do. Sensational. What a smooth, elegant coaster with just incredible visuals. This is one of those ones you just got to ride twice. We can't exactly do cinematic. We can't, uh, seat view's not much different. 
So I think what we could try, and I, ha I don't think I've done this in the entire contest, we could try to do an orbit view. And I would like to do that from maybe the back. So we can see the guests, we can see the coaster, and we can also look around just a little bit. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I'm always willing to try something new. Let's check it out. was even better the second time and that's because guiding that camera was not easy with the amount of uh intricate nooks craddies and and caves and buildings that this coaster went in and out of but as you can see when it pulls out the camera pulls out you can get some amazing views you gotta really appreciate the details like all this crazy rock work just so the coaster can come up and around here but it creates one of the most sensational vistas and viewpoints. Uh, wow. That is truly something special. I kind of feel like I should be doing orbit view more often. Fire a comment down below if you enjoyed that orbit view. And if that's something you want me to try more often. Because I know the ca uh, cinematic can be janky. Especially when you have it so deeply embedded into the terrain. And... Obviously, orbit view is not uh, particularly easy either, but uh, if I try my best, I can uh, definitely get some nice views off that. Fun little dojo with a ride in there. Exit only. Thank you for that. That has a whole sign, the ninja. The ninja's dojo. For a flat ride, you guys put a lot of effort into your flat. This is definitely one of the best Oriental themes I have ever seen. Look at this! Look what you guys did here! Woo. So I have one other favorite that did uh, this theme, uh, but it, it, I, I enjoyed enjoyed it more for its elevation and its. You know, ex exploration. I enjoy this one more for its detail and uh, intricacies. And the art has just been elevated. Sorry if you guys hear banging coming through my mic. Uh, landlords are savages upstairs. So, happens time to time. Sometimes I can't notice because I got the uh, closed headphones on. I can barely hear anything. I can barely hear myself talk. <laughs> so I sometimes I sound really loud like I'm shouting all the time <laughs> Okay, loggy loggy flume We're gonna pause it so we can get on the ebb and flow here and find the right log I believe this is the one we're looking for. We're gonna do a pop-up pretty standard that we always do this Now let's enjoy this ebb and flow
See, this, this here, when you have a park that just has so much intricate details, as we could see from the point of view of the coaster, why wouldn't you wrap a second ride around it all, such as a log flume? Especially a log flume. Because a log flume takes its time, lets you absorb all the details, lets you enjoy the beauty that you have already created. Now trying to find a route for that and build it in and integrate it is a very difficult job. It's not as easy as just running a log through, flume through it all. As you can see, there's all these caverns and nooks and areas that were specifically designed for the log flume. But uh, we get to really get a double take on everything. Um, when we're not moving at 50 miles per hour like on a coaster. It's really nice. I'm enjoying this log flume. One of my favorites throughout this contest, for sure. Wow, I'm really quite taken away by this. I did not expect uh, the log flume to take us across the whole park and to my point earlier on the ride, you get to really soak up a lot of those details and I'm really glad it extended that far out. It had a lot of drops as well. Uh, the biggest log flume I have ridden in a long time, if not ever, but it consistently stayed entertaining and detailed throughout the whole way. Uh, the most detailed log flume, I, one of the most detailed, if not the, that I have ever experienced. That was sensational, and as we got passed into the different areas of the park, it was a bit of a teaser of what's to come. A little bit of foreshadowing of the, the theme changes, and you can really get the sense of, uh, as I was saying earlier, how you guys took these different themes. I really feel like we're in this temple area right now, and the fishing village looked immaculate. I cannot wait to take a closer look at that fishing village. 
and the the little area with the pink pops i'm really looking forward to seeing that a little closer uh the waterfall that you did in the center is looking really nice again you guys have taken so many elements and uh elevated them kitchen esby absolute legends two of my uh favorite creators who constantly place very high in contests and make some of the best submissions and who have climbed the brackets very fast climbed the ranks two amazing creators and when you pair them up together this is what you get <laughs> it's just a masterpiece a lot of soft pretzels in this part Look at that, there's the lock flume again. We're gonna be seeing that basically everywhere we go. It doesn't say exit, guys. I have a feeling it is. <laughs> Knew it. Yeah, look at the, the details on these fishing village buildings. <laughs> what? <laughs> is that a boat? Is that a boat that's crashed? Wow. Look at uh, how the buildings jet together. Very complicated. And the ride just kind of poking up the side just a little bit. This is very next level building, you guys. And look at this. Is this like the hull of a ship? What is happening here? This is so neat. Wow. I'm a big fan of this. I could chill out here. I mean, look at this, you guys. What do you even say? Masterful. You look at the style of these buildings and you get that fishing village feeling. Something out of uh, Valheim. While still keeping the oriental vibe overall. I mean, come on. How do you guys come up with this stuff? I think this is one of my favorite all-time buildings. I've never seen anything look so cool. We saw a view of this at the log flume and I was so captivated. I was like, what? You guys have uh, done the thatched hay pieces? Justice. This is the coolest use of them I have ever seen. The Seaside Dojo. Oh, you put a whirly rig in here? I like it even more. Wow. That is incredible. The Kraken Battle as a midway game. This is actually something we didn't see a lot of throughout this contest, is the midway games in the theme parks. And these are actually themed towards... Uh, the whole fishing village. The crab crawl? Ah, oh, that thing. That thing sucks. <laughs> oh, the squid rings. This is really well done, you guys. I give you extra bonus points in the uh, Johnny scoreboard for adding not only the midway games in, but making them theme towards the this area of the park in particular. It wouldn't have worked as well in the other areas, but when you start doing this for the fishing village with the crabs, the squids, the hooks, obviously the hook toss, the turtle roll, I mean, come on, this is, this is next level theming and it's brilliant, really brilliant. And again, these compositions, look at that seaside dojo. Is that not just the best building you've ever seen? My god, you guys. Really, really well done. The Spirit of the Sea. Yes, I want to go on another ride. And here, you're reusing the assets going through a, uh, a shop. And I think from the sounds of it, it's a wooden coaster. This is beautiful. Truly stunning. Quite the maze for the queue, but really well done at the same time. Look at this. Even uh, 
really nice detailing for the little lineups here. All the realism, loose articles. Now, we are in a ship or something, right? It is. Look at this. Oh, my God. In fact, this very much look... I feel like Warmgar built this. It's very much similar to his Valheim ship that he made when we were playing Valheim. Uh, I have a feeling this is uh, Warmgar's doing here. What a cool idea for a boarding station. One of the best boarding stations I have witnessed in this contest. That is so creative. And I feel like I've said that for a lot of elements. This has got to be a top contender for this bracket. Just uh, artistry overload, you guys. Uh, what did they want for the seat preferences on this? This is the Spirit of the Sea. Uh, yeah, Spirit of the Sea. And they wanted seat view. Well, since you wanted seat view, I should be able to choose what seat. Is that right? Actually, how about we do a pop-up? I know this is not seat view. We could sit with the kids. Pop, 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 pop. Let's go. So the reason I chose that view is because I know a lot of people complain about the foiling arms, uh, but there was some weird clipping issues as well. So I think what we'll do is we'll just, uh, we'll ride it again in track view. That way we get a nice variety here. So why don't we go ahead and uh, do that? These coasters are incredible. I'm uh, 
I'm a little sad that there's only three, but this is a quality over quantity type park. And I'm quite okay with it. Two coasters, a log flume, but just a boatload of detail. The walk around for this park is one of the best I've experienced. Like, come on, look at this. It is just a joy to walk through. I think the reshade just uh, lends aid to all this awesomeness. Let's do it. Let's do the old toggle for old time's sakes. Old Planko. I mean, it still looks incredible, doesn't it? This is uh, when uh, craters make things look good in Planko. Reshade only just helps a little. Makes those shadows pop a bit more. Yeah, look at the floor. Pop! Pow. Oh, very popular ride through every contest we do. This guy sees a lot of use. Nice, uh, nice backdrop for it there. I like this. Did the wooden coaster really stretch out this far? That's incredible how well integrated all this is. <laughs> Look at that. I should have done another orbit view on that because you don't really you're so immersed within the track itself you don't really get that top side perspective that's what the orbit view is so good at I almost feel like that's a different coaster entirely at this point it's incredible wow whoo this is a top competitor for sure. It's uh, it's a little sad when you get to these upper brackets because of all the ones we've seen in this bracket and all the ones we're going to see, and this one included. So how do they not all deserve first place? <laughs> it's a little unfair that we make you guys choose. It's a little unfair that there has to be one. You guys are all my favorites at this point. Uh, it like hurts a little bit if this doesn't win. Get one of my votes, you guys. That's for sure. Where were those pink uh, blossom flowers that we saw when we were on the log flume? You guys have enough cues for your restaurant. So much uh, details and realism. Oh, that's this area, right? How did, did I miss this? That's beautiful. I love these, uh, the pink pops. I wish this area spanned out a little bit more. It's so pretty. The pink and green. It's really nice. That is gorgeous. Wow. I'm really hoping I'm not missing any details. Let's just do it a bird's eye view of things. We definitely we definitely walked through all that. Came back through here. I don't think we went through the center path, did we? Well, the spirit of the sky. We may not have gone through here. Lift your spirits. And it just kind of connects back in. The Zen wheel. I think we missed this one. Yep, there's the big Zen wheel. Bit, Ferris wheels are a bit hard to dress up, but I'm wondering if you could have done something like you did here. That would have been nice. It's a little bit bare compared to the rest of the stuff, but maybe a good thing because it could have been an eyesore, right? I trust your guys' decisions. I almost, uh, because it's so thin, I almost didn't even notice it. Uh, so it makes it less obscuring, that's for sure. You get some cool perspectives of it though. It's nice. Look at that. Imagine just chilling here having a having some uh, slushies or something and the coaster rips up <laughs> through the floor. Oh my god. I really like what you did with this temple area making it seem very unique and original. Never seen anything like this done in Planko. One of a kind. Uh, the Like I said with the Viking, Oriental Viking mix. Very unique with the Caribbean even. Taking all those pieces and elevating them. And then you have more traditional in the middle. But my all-time favorite, 
has got to be this fishing village. I've never seen anything done that looks this cool. And the way the coaster just uh, interacts with it all. Again, I'm a little sad that I couldn't go on more coasters. Uh, but I'm, I'm spoiled at this point and I'm greedy. Uh, but this is definitely a quality over quantity. And I mean, there's a lot of quantity as well. It's just overall quality. Uh, that log flume was just adventurous. Look at that. I can't even I can't even see the outline because there's so much detail. But yeah, it goes around the entirety of the park. It gives you a look at everything. Uh, definitely an S-tier log flume. One of the best I've ever experienced. S-tier coasters. Are just absolutely incredible. Uh, they're basically taking up the whole sides of their, their kind of sides of the park. Look at that. Stretching out so much details on them. They're just incredible. Uh, dividing the park in two these uh waterfalls and rivers it just looks so beautiful and the whole island as a as a, a whole here eternal sanctuary you'll when i loaded it up i'm like yeah this is a winner <laughs> it's one of those well done esby and kitsch love you guys you guys are incredible builders um incredible competitors this is definitely a top tier competitor what did you guys think fire away down in the comments below did you like the art style did you like the twist to the oriental the additions uh as much as i did because i absolutely love this was the fishing village your favorite or did you like this viking pirate stuff uh, or the temple i love it all for different reasons but fishing village takes the cake from me beautiful park spotlight love this one uh that uh that's gonna wrap it up for me in this video you guys thank you all so much for watching hope you have a wonderful day and we'll see you all in the next one bye now